Um, in terms of music, one reason you might want to be skeptical is the intuition is just not quite so clear. It's not simply that people, can, people would necessarily go to file sharing networks, download a song, and then not go out and buy it. There's at least two important factors to think about. The first one is that it's possible that people could, could use file sharing networks to learn about new music or even sample new music, which might even lead them to buy more music. And the second thing, and probably the more important point, is to think a little bit more deeply about what file sharing is. File sharing is something where you have to sit at a computer, waste a little bit of time to download something to save $15 to $18. Well, that's an activity that's very attractive to people who have a lot of time on their hands and not a lot of money, the kids. Well, it's not obvious that people who would engage in that kind of activity are people who would have, in the absence of file sharing, gone out and bought the CD. So it's not at all obvious, at least, that every download should be thought of as a, as a foregone sale. And the second piece of, a, a, of sort of counter evidence to think about is the fact that this aggregate data can be thought of in different ways. In particular, in like the music business, like any kind of entertainment industry, is really driven by fads. And as a result, the industry oftentimes sees large reductions in sales that have absolutely nothing to do with things like technology, but probably have something to do with changes in taste. So um, let me just show you a quick a figure that shows you the revenues for the record industry in the recent period and then in a slightly older period. So the red line shows you the revenues for the, for the record industry uh, in the current period. It has a, a peak in 1999 and then it falls, as you've probably seen if you follow this kind of stuff in the newspaper. The blue line shows you for a, a similar time period the record industry revenues for an earlier period around 1978 and you'll see that music revenues fell much more significantly than they fell in the current period. Now, again, I, I was a little bit too young at that point to, to remember, but I don't think that what was going on in this period was file sharing. It was most likely due to the fact that there was a change in taste of what people liked in terms of music and uh, the sort of lack of finding the new ones.